very exciting day today. I'm with the one and only Miss Daisy Fuentes. <laughs> I am actually, we're in the home that I sold her earlier this year. A beautiful home here in Miami, beautiful kitchen, and we're actually cooking it today, which is very exciting. Yeah, I love I it. I love that to see it all kind of come full circle and we're actually now, you know, living and sharing and it is what it's supposed to be about. I'm excited. Yeah. I don't know how to cook very well, so. Well, I know that you asked me about plant-based vegan recipe mm -hmm. because I think, you know, like you, a lot of people are curious about it. So I came up with a great recipe that requires no cooking because I know you don't know how to do very it. busy. Mm -hmm. And if I give you something super complicated where you have to actually cook, it may not ever happen. <laughs> do you cook at all? I don't. It's probably about four or five things that I know how to do. I do them well, but I don't know how to cook. That's Anything great. Else. Yeah. That's all you need. That's okay. a great start. Now you're going to have to sit. Beautiful. I chose to do a plant based vegan tuna fish salad. Okay. It's going to be made with chickpeas instead of tuna fish. Okay. So, no mercury, tons of protein. A lot of protein. Very clean, no yeah. cholesterol. Yeah. This is actually a great snack for you. Yeah, you're I'm excited. Now, what I like to put in my tuna fish salad is um, this would be the tuna fish. I've got some celery. I've got the plant-based mayo, uh, chopped, finely chopped red onion, and this will be probably less than half a cup, I would say. Um, I've used about three tablespoons of the mayo, uh, about three small celery sticks. I've got some capers. You can do about four or five, just a few. And this will give it that salty ocean Yum, salt or okay, sure. Yeah, and then um, like one teaspoon of mustard really to taste. Then we're gonna add onion powder, parsley, you can use dry or fresh, uh, garlic powder, salt and pepper. We're gonna start by pouring the chickpeas into the food processor. We're really just gonna pulse it. You okay. don't want it to become hummus. Okay. You know, you wanna give it that texture of tuna fish. <laughs> And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to pour the capers in there to kind of spread them out a little bit. And again, just pulse it. And you can kind of start getting a bit texture when it starts getting a little bit toffee, but not really pureed. Okay. Just a few pulses, and I think that that's probably, probably good. That looks good. I can so, do that. We just pour it into a bowl, and then you can start building your salad. Okay. I think you're gonna love this because you can easily make this, pop it in your fridge, and have it, you know, for a couple of days and snack on it. So I like to put a little extra mayo. That's just me. You know, you can go the healthier route and do a little bit less if you want. Like I said, this is three large spoonfuls. I'm adding the onion. I like to put a good amount of onion for flavor. Um, celery. celery. Yeah, it really gives us a cooking, um, fresh flavor. Then I'm gonna do, I'm not really great with measurements, so just, you know, <laughs> I really do a good sprinkling, which would probably be, let's say, a teaspoon. Okay. A small teaspoon of onion powder. I'm gonna do maybe like a spoonful of dried parsley, small teaspoon of garlic powder. It's already looking super good. Um, I like to really kick it up with a bunch of black pepper. Yeah, like you can already see this one yeah, full of flavor, right? Black pepper, um, some Himalayan sea salt, and the juice of one lemon. My hands are clean. <laughs> Just catching the seeds. I'm super worried about that. Top of the seeds? <laughs> and then we're gonna mix all this in. It's really that simple. It's really that I simple. Mean, it's difficult to be chopping up every time. You know? The prepping, you know, <laughs> but it's also really simple prepping, and yeah. the best part is that you're gonna have this around for a while. You know, unless you're having some friends over, you know, and you just like want to have a glass of wine and some snacks. This is great just on a cracker, which is mm -hmm. actually how I'm going to give it to you to taste. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna do the taste test because yeah, yeah. I wanna make sure I, I did not screw this up, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. That's really good. Mm. Do the taste test now. <laughs> Thank you. And you can be honest. Yeah, well. I just down this whole thing. Mmm. It's pretty good, right? You got the texture, the flavors there, the mayonnaise, the mustard, high protein, the crackers good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. I can eat that whole thing. That's right. for sure. Yeah. Super simple too. I love this. I'm gonna do this at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Called the Daisy Fuente Special. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it. You've got one more thing in your arsenal. Yeah. Simple, easy, tastes immaculate too. So. Mm hmm. I'm glad you like it. Daisy Fuente, <laughs> thank you so much for having me and for this opportunity. Oh, so fun. Uh, hope you, uh, keep enjoying this home. And guys, thank you all for watching so much. We'll be back soon with much more content. See you guys next time.